I am Jo, I am from Belgium, I am a magician and an animal trainer. When I was eight years old, I started to do shows for the neighbors and my main act was a cat that I trained to jump through a hoop of fire. The way I train animals to do magic tricks is first I show them, I show them again, I show them a million times, they know how the trick works and then they can do it by themselves. I train a chicken with psychic powers. She can pick up things that no one ever talks about and still she knows. I first had to gain her trust until she would allow me to bait her. Then we started to eat meals together and in the end we had such a strong relation I could even sleep with her. I'm not a good enough magician to fool Penn and Teller, but maybe my chicken might. cooped up long enough. Here's Yoda Rick. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, it's so nice for us to be here. I am Yo, and this is my chicken. She's a real chicken. Her name is Curry. That's right. Chicken Curry. <laughs> She's the only chicken in the world that can really read your mind. Now, I'd like to invite one more lovely chick onto this stage. Alison, would you please join us? Alison! Oh. Yeah. Hi, Alison. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Alison, yeah. this is Curry. Curry, Alison. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Can you hold one hand like this? Perfect. Curry, high five. Oh. Great. Cool. <laughs> now, Alison, before we start this mind reading experiment, can you please confirm that Curry wears no electronic devices, okay? So, nothing under this ring? <laughs> no. Right? Nothing under this ring? Okay. Nothing on this side? Ooh, okay. Yeah. Nothing on this okay, side? Okay, I've got it. Okay, yeah. that's enough. That's that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> now, we first need to make a mental connection. Therefore, Alison, please look into her eyes. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. She's becoming very nervous. Are you thinking about barbecue? No. Please don't do that, okay? We all have dreams in our life. My big dream is to pull pen and teller. Now, I can imagine you also have big dreams. Maybe something that's still on your bucket list. Can you think about one dream? Don't tell us. Then I'd like you to write it down on this piece of paper, and when you're finished, just turn it over. Okay? okay. Go ahead. Oh, wait, curry, curry, curry. Okay. Don't look. Don't look. Okay? okay. It's mentalism. Okay. Okay, perfect. Now, I'd like you to think about three other dreams that are not your dream, okay? So make it very confusing for us. Choose believable dreams that are not yours. Afterwards, you can hang up the fake dreams together with the real dream, and you can hang them anywhere you want, facing the audience. Oh. Go ahead. Okay. Now, reading someone's mind is very hard for chicken curry. Therefore, she first needs to warm up her psychic powers. Carrie, focus. Focus on the feather. Focus. Good. She's warmed up. Okay. Alison. Okay, you can uh, hang the papers any order you want, together with the real dream, facing the audience. All right. Alison. Yes. Let's have a look at your dreams. All right. To host a craft show, write a kid's book, go to Japan, or get a pick. Great dreams. Now... <laughs> For the real world, thank you, Curry is gonna read your mind. Think about your dream come true and look into her eyes. Live the dream. I think she got it. Now, please stand over here, face the audience, don't move anymore, and whatever happens, don't look back. Curry, what is her dream? Mm. 
We're from Belgium. She has a little trouble reading the English. Curry? <laughs> Curry has made a decision. We cannot go back. Alison, if this is going to be her dream, I like everybody in the audience to go completely crazy, go absolutely bananas. It will mean that Curry is going to live another day. <laughs> Alison, for the very first time, what is your dream? Well, whatever it says, so she can live. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is your real dream? The craft show. The craft show. Hey! Thank you so much. One moment, thank you. Now, can I tell her? I like to give these papers to you guys just as a souvenir. There is nothing remarkable about them. No funny smells, no hidden candies. They are all yours. Thank you very much. Thank you. together. We've been together for seven years now. Oh, well, she's so lovely. Thank you. And so are you. Yeah. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Is this your dream to like be in Vegas and, and perform? This is my dream. Uh, really, since I was eight years old, I dreamed of this moment. So thank you guys. And thank you. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Guys, what do you have to say about the psychic chicken? Based on you needed any more proof that this is the greatest show that has ever existed on TV. Our two grown men have been sitting here deliberating about how a chicken pecked a certain piece of paper. <laughs> now, the road we want to start going down is that um, he knew it was the first piece of paper you wrote on that was going to be the one that was going to be your real dream. And the other three came later. So the first piece of paper could in some way be treated or set up in some way to attract the chicken. Don't get too excited. We know that's not how you did. <laughs> you gave us these pieces of paper. We were able to examine them. We believe these pieces of paper are innocent. If you've got something hidden in these pieces of paper, you fooled us. We don't know what it is. We think that although there's this homey farm barnyard quality to, uh, to the setup over there, that that conceals a little bit more sophistication. And we believe that from that, you were able to get the information. We think, uh, it was we think we know how it's transmitted to you, but rather not give that up. And then you were able to then signal the chicken what to do. So, the chicken was not the mentalist, you were the mentalist. But we're actually saying a little more than that. I, um, I know what you see. Uh, they got an impression that I did something, but the impression is wrong. So, wait, so the chicken did all the work? She did all the work. I had no idea what was your dream. Oh, so the chicken... You really did. You had no idea what your dream was. I had no idea. So wait, the chicken <laughs> fooled Penn and Teller. I think you're fooled by a chicken. Oh, Yay! That is a first. Fooled by a chicken. Mm -hmm. this Congratulations. Is really, this is a dream come true. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.